Deontay Wilder. And, but I don't think that's even a big factor for Deontay because his whole career, I mean, he only had two tough fights. And yeah, that was that the second fight. fight was so tough that could he really so be then, the same? So, so let's call it one fight then. He only had one tough fight his whole career. Two. I mean, man. You know, well, I mean, but two, you're talking about the last one. You said the last one was so brutal. I mean, yeah, like but so, so let's just say one then. Because the, the first one stopped, was stopped in the seventh round, and the second one was stopped in the eleventh round. Big dog style. And, uh,. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think Deontay's taking that much money. This was the latest interview from Sugar Hill Stewart. Sugar Hill Stewart believes Deontay Wilder did not take substantial punishment from Tyson Fury to make him retire. He also says if you look at Deontay Wilder's resume, he hasn't really had any tough fights. He doesn't even think the fight with Luis Ortiz, both of them, that Deontay Wilder had were not tough fights. The only tough fight Wilder had is Fury. And that might have preserved his career according to Sugar Hill Stewart. And he also believes Wilder taking a break is good for him, gives him a chance to recharge. But he says once Wilder hits the ring again, he'll be back to normal Wilder. Those are interesting statements from Sugar Hill Stewart. I do agree Tyson Fury is the toughest opponent Deontay Wilder has faced. That is the only elite opponent he has faced, and it is his toughest opponent he has faced. What I don't agree with is Deontay Wilder being back to Deontay Wilder as we know him. I think the beating, not just physically, the mental beating that Tyson Fury gave him, we will never see the old Deontay Wilder again, in my opinion. The confidence and the invincibility Tyson Fury has stripped him from that. If Deontay Wilder chooses to return to the ring, there are big fights out there for him. He can fight Andy Ruiz, which can lead to a title shot. And not only that, that'll be a big fight that you can put on pay-per-view. And of course, Anthony Joshua is still out there. This would have been a bigger fight when both guys were champions, but we all know what happened. And even if AJ loses to Alexander Uzik in the rematch, this is still a fight people would pay to see. Let me correct myself. A victory over Andy Ruiz will put him in title contention, not a title shot. Those are just a couple of fights I can think of on the top of my head. But at the end of the day, like I said, I disagree with Stewart. Wilder's not the same fighter. I don't think he'll ever be the same fighter. Wilder still has the mindset that he was cheated in those fights instead of outclassed. And if he has that mindset, he should just hang him up. Because my opinion is, he got the brake speed off of him. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.